welcome back to the science hub if you are new please hit the subscribe button there and the notification button also but if you are returning it means that you liked uh, the previous videos so just make sure that you hit the notification button like comment down there and share the video so for today we are going to talk about a very simple thing during puberty we have um Okay, both girls and boys developing uh, you know secondary sexual characteristics so as part of those sexual, uh, sexual secondary sexual characteristics in boys they will develop uh, the sperm cells sperma and then in girls uh, they will have um, you know normal menstruation cycles as per you know uh, puberty as long as puberty is concerned, then they will see those, or we will see those uh, in both uh, boys and boys and girls. So now there is a process which is responsible for forming those secondary sexual characteristics, and it is well known as gametogenesis, as written here, gametogenesis. And I know very well that the word genesis is familiar from the Bible, and it's the first chapter. It's the first chapter in the Bible which talks about the beginning of the world. In the beginning, it talks about the beginning of the world. So before I could even go further, I would like to give all the credits to Sammy White, the TikTok teacher. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to go into detail over to Wednesday me and stuff, but... Uh, Others will be able to re, uh, relate to it. why am I acknowledging that guy. So, the gametogenesis, uh, we are going to talk about the, the beginning here. And then the word gameto here, it comes from gametes. And gametes are sex cells. They are the sex cells. So, here it basically means that we're going to talk about the uh, beginning of the sex cells and that's in both girls and boys okay boys and girls in boys we said uh, they will develop sperm cells and then this side they will develop ovums they will develop ovums as part of their second uh, secondary sexual characteristics and in developing this this ones uh, we are going to name the process by which uh, sperm cells form within boys the spermatogenesis Uh, I was wondering what's happening on to my cell phone, but okay, nonetheless, it's nothing disturbing. So, we're going to name it the spermatogenesis. This means that at uh, the beginning of the sperm cells, the beginning of the sperm cells, how does this one happen? Okay, we'll break it down after. And that's this one, uh, where the ovums begin, we're going to say is the ovigenesis, ovigenesis. Or oogenesis. You can use any name between the two. So now the question is, how do uh, these sperm cells begin? We know from the Bible that matom antomong mudimu toji lagodimale lefase. So now, how is the, the the genesis of the sperm cells going to happen here? So we are going to make use of the uh, mnemonic tedise temeha. This is for uh, uh, spermatogenesis. Okay, this simply means that um, okay, um, under the influence of testosterone. Okay, I'll use a different marker. Under the influence of testosterone. Diploid cells, 
hyploid cells in the semi uterus tubules. In the seminiferous tubules in the testes, they will undergo meiosis to form haploid sperm cells. So already, I have interpreted uh, or shown you a case of what is this tenisite now. The TE is for testosterone, DI, diploid cells, SE, seminiferous tubules, TE, testis, ME for meiosis, HA, haploid. So now, you're going to see under the influence of testosterone, diploid cells in the seminiferous tubules, they will, okay, the seminiferous tubules are located in the testis. So they will undergo meiosis to form haploid sperm cells. And then you are done just like that. You would have told us, Uguti, what happens throughout the entire process of spermatogenesis. So without the, uh, any waste of time, we're going to go to the ovigenesis. This is for spermatogenesis. We're going to go to the ovigenesis. For ovigenesis, we are going to make use of the mnemonic for diominemo. For diominemo. What do you mean, Emma? Mm. Words from heaven. These are words from heaven. I believe that uh, it's visible. Let me just confirm and bear in mind that I'm not going to edit these videos. Uh, I'm not there. Uh, the kind of like edit stuff will be like, uh, or as if I'm, I'm fake. But nonetheless, I don't know everything. I'm just like you. We learn each and every day and through you, if you can comment on the errors that you see that I'm, I'll be doing here as I present my lessons on YouTube, of course, please feel free to comment and, uh, you know, notify me of such errors so that they do not, you know, go viral so that they can be corrected or attended to immediately. So here you are going to say under the influence of FSH. Under the influence, uh, influence of FSH secreted by what? The pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is responsible for secreting the uh, FSH. O is just here for accompaniment. And then the diploid cells. Will undergo. My uses. I mean mitosis, sorry. We are going to have mitosis first as for this ovigenesis. For spermatogenesis, we had one, one cell division. But here we are going to have two of them and then we are going to have mitosis first and then meiosis will come after. So the mitosis will produce numerous follicles. Okay, N E N for numerous follicles. And then, out of these numerous follicles, each follicle will undergo meiosis. And then, if it undergoes meiosis, we know very well the role of, of meiosis to say it produces haploid ovums for us. And then you just swap, swap them. H for haploid. And then, O for ovums so as written like this the f uh, o here we have to talk about the fsh secreted by the pituitary gland di diploid cells m for mitosis and then n for numerous focals e for each 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 and then m for meiosis uh, or h for haploid ovums you're just gonna do the inverse or you swap them. So we are going to say for ovigenesis or oogenesis that um, under the influence of follicle stimulating hormone secreted by the pituitary gland, diploid cells uh, will undergo mitosis to form numerous follicles. And out of these numerous follicles, 
each follicle will undergo meiosis and then if it undergoes meiosis meiosis will produce haploid ovums for us and then that each, each ovum is the th this one ovum it is the one which will mature and be ready to get fertilized and then uh, uh, i'll record the second part talking about uh, the process from uh, for fertilization up until implantation and then the development of the embryo in one part and please bear in mind that the video will take longer than expected because we'll be ironing out a lot of things to say what takes in the food to the child out and stuff so yeah bear in mind that it's going to take you know longer than expected so i want people to from everything that we have in here i want people to define spermatogenesis and define ovigenesis using uh, the bible chapter what is spermatogenesis uh, so i know that where you are seated you are saying spermatogenesis is when is when uh, stop saying it's when spermatogenesis it's a process you must have a good start in giving or in defining these two spermatogenesis is a process by which sperm cells get manufactured in males or in boys and then ovigenesis it's a process just make use of simple english it's a process by which ovums get manufactured in females done you know you must just try to be as simple as much as possible and explicit as at the same time you must give us quality so uh, that will be it about um gametogenesis and stuff but yeah yeah that will be it about the gametogenesis and then you know very well that during puberty you can relate from yeah, yourself so otherwise thank you very much for watching if uh, officially uh, to, to, to this stage or this time or celebrity this video it means that you're liking it and then you are the reason that I'll, uh, that, that keeps me going and then